Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crooked YouTuber that's trying to be a long no by. And today I am going to do a video kind of like the opposite or a second part of a video where I talked about 10 brands and 10 pa 10 brands that if I had to... I'm so... You should just see how it is in here. It's chaos. I am going to do either like a second part or the opposite of a video that I did. I think it came up previously this week. I have no idea. My uploading schedule. But where I talked about, I took 10 brands that I have more than two palettes from. And if I had to decluttering one palette from each of the brands, the brand, and today I'm going to do the opposite. So the palette that I would never declutter from this brand. And this was so hard. Because I don't know if I have taken my favorite palette from each of the brands. But like, do you remember I did like a long time ago if I could only keep 10 palettes? It was a video idea from Annette. I can leave it down in the description and like if you only could keep 10 palettes in your collection would which 10 palettes would it be and I had the same like thought about this so maybe not all of these are my favorites but if I could only keep one palette from this brand which palette would I keep so I guess we just hop into this and I'm not going to like a part of my brain is like, okay, I want to do the brands in the same order that I did that video. It's not going to happen and I don't know if anybody, anybody, anybody other than me would care. From Colourpop. This was so hard. I don't know which my favorite palette is from Colourpop. Maybe it's just my luck. I don't know. But I came to the Sweet Talk palette. <laughs> this palette is a neutral peachy pink palette that I for some reason love so so much I don't know why but I just do and this is a very popular palette from Colourpop and <laughs> I didn't get it then I bought it and I get it and I guess if you just see this that you maybe are like yeah what's the fuss about the Sweet Talk palette but it is a fuss I don't know what, but I do really like it. And this is one of the palettes. I haven't done many looks on YouTube with this one. This is a palette that I mostly use off YouTube because I don't think that anybody wants to see a look with the Sweet Talk palette, but maybe do, so maybe. Then the next brand is Menorty, and this was also so hard. Um, I have always loved the Whale Song palette from, from Menorty. It has been one of my favorite palettes. But I would actually keep the Serenity palette. This is the collab palette between Menagerie and Annette's Makeup Corner. And the reason why I would keep this one is like this orange and this yellow shimmer. Not a gold shimmer, it's a yellow shimmer. And this orange, they are amazing. And also this is one of the palettes that I love. That like you can do a green look, a blue look, a purple look, a pink look. I love that about palettes. And this just adds something to my collection that I don't want to miss out on. So this would be the palette from Menagerie that I was would keep. So is this video like 10 palettes from 10 different brands that I would keep? Maybe. Then we can go into Shroud. And I don't know if this was like even harder because I do love all of my shroud palettes and I took this palette because I don't have anything other in my collection that is as good as this one and this the creepy cute I don't have any other pastel shades that are this good I have never tried any pastels that are this good and this is just an amazing pastel palette I wish for more colors I really really do but this is just perfect. I love like Take a Hint as one of my absolute favorite shades I have in my collection. And I don't have these pigmented, really colorful pastels in 
any other palette that I do own. So this would be the palette from Shroud that I would keep. And Shroud, it was a hard brand. Like I didn't know do I want to take the Creepy Cute or Kana or it's freaking bats. But this one has something that I don't think I could ever replace. Then LH Cosmetics. <laughs> This was also, yeah, everything was like hard except for two brands. And I guess you know which two brands it was. Um, from LH Cosmetics, I actually took my most disgusting palette, the Infinity palette. This palette I don't use that much for eyeshadow. I most use it for my face, but I sometimes use it for my eyeshadow. Sometimes this is like the palette I use for everything. And... I love this palette so much. Mostly for my face, but also it, it, this is just an amazing palette. I don't know what more to say. It looks it looks so beat up. And like I don't know what to do when I eventually run out of this one and this one because this you can't buy a singles right now. I really 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 wish that LH Cosmetics would sell singles in everything. I don't think it's going to happen, but I would love it. They have Virgo as a single, but that is too dark for me to use as an highlighter. But yeah, this is the palette from my Lady Cosmetic that I would never declutter. Then we can go into Lethal and... <laughs> I was like, I can't take a palette that I made myself from Lethal, so I took the Velvet Dusk. This is their 90s inspired grunge palette and this is one of the palettes in my collection. Like you know when you are, yeah this looks good, you never use it and then you use it and you're like why doesn't I use this more? This is one, this is one of those palettes for me. I think it looks really, really good but it's like I forget about that and that is a problem that I do have with Lethal's palettes like you can buy this this was sold as a palette they are singles but it was sold as a palette and i have such a hard time to play with this and i don't know because these are like my colors these are things that i love grunge 90s i'm all about that so yeah maybe i should just pick this up i think it goes really good now it's a really good fall palette. I never know to say autumn or fall. Is it one is the English thing is and one is the US things? For me as a Swede, in school we learn English. We watch a lot of American shows and that mess up in here. Then we can take Ace Boutte. <laughs> this palette that I would keep is the Oceanic palette. I love this palette. I This is like my favorite green and blue palette, I think. If I could only keep one of my green and blue palettes, it would be this one. Mostly because like this shade is amazing. This is so grungy, so cool. I just love it. And then like this seaweed as well. Crunchy, cool, love it. And then I love that this algae is in the middle. Like grunge, poppy, crunch. And the blues in this one are really good. Like Lagoon is really good and Pacific as well. I know that people aren't like super thrilled about Ace Boutet's formula. It feels like either you love it or you don't. They have reformulated everything, I guess. I have, this isn't the old formula. I love it. The shimmers are so good. And this is just such a fun blue and green palette. And I wouldn't decluttering it. And I am like actually surprised how much I love this one. Then Lunar Beauty. I would, of course, keep the Moonspell palette. This is... One of the prettiest palettes I do own. And I did a video not that long ago with this. Uh, last week it must be. When I did my first Halloween week. And I always get a good look out of this. 
except for when I did a palette bingo with this one. And I got this Pro shade as my crease color. Um, but it, it it was a look. And yeah, this is just such a fun palette. I love it. I not like super fun about the background when you're showing it on YouTube because it's a little bit too sparkly. But yeah, this is an amazing palette and I do have a lot of videos on this and I think it's a fun palette to play with and I wouldn't declaring this for a million years. From Yuvia's place, I would of course keep the Tri palette. But it's one thing with this palette that I do not understand. It is in stock, it's going to be discontinued. It come back in stock and it's being discontinued again. It looks like this. This is a really fun green palette. It has some really good mattes and this like poopy grungy color down here that I love. It has some really bright color up here and the shimmers in this palette they are actually really really good. Like this one is it has some green to it and this one is so deep and good and this one I want to marry and this one is also amazing. I have done some of my favorite green grungy looks with this one. It's just such a good palette and I don't get it with Yuvia's Place why they would discontinue this one. I guess apparently it's going to be in stock and like back when I'm doing this video just because fucking with me. But yeah, this is an amazing palette that I don't think I could replace with anything else. And it's now like the two obvious brands are left. It's Kaleidos and Nabla. And it feels like should I even talk about the palette from Nabla or can we just skip that? Uh, or should we start with Kaleidos? <laughs> And this was also like a little bit hard, but I can't like, there is no other palette that I love more from Kaleidos than this one. And it is the Club Nebula. This was my favorite eyeshadow palette of 2021. It looks like this. This was the collab with the Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. And I do love this palette because it is a really cool palette, but I also love this palette because I had a rough year, 2021, and uh, 2020s ended like shit for me. I was sick in the C word, and um, it, it knocked me out, we can say it like that. And then uh, 2021, things in my personal life happened that really drained me um, with a lot of things, and it was a shitty year. And this palette saved me so many times. I did so many looks with this one and this made me happy to use makeup when I really didn't want to do anything then lie back here in my bed after work. Uh, so yeah, this has a special place in my heart because of that and also it is an amazing palette. And then the last palette that I'm going to talk about from Nabla is side by side. Do you want to see it again? It looks like this. This is amazing. I love it. I would never decluttering it. It was, It's uh, like the best palette I have in my collection. And yeah, that was all for this video. <laughs> so these, palette, these 10 palettes from these 10 brands I would never declutter. I do hope that you liked this video and... I'm trying to do more videos where I talk about palettes because I know that you like that and I do like to talk about palettes as well. And also, <clears throat> I think I need to drink some Pepsi. As you know, I have had a no by this year. It is October. I have like, I'm going to do a haul. I'm planning on like a makeup haul. I'm going to show you like five things. Um. Yeah, I like to talk about palettes and I think it's really important to like talk about maybe like discontinued palettes like the Club Nebula for example or the Serenity palette from Menagerie and the, the Moonspa palette because it's not only me that have them in 
my collection and I know it can be hard to see like new content all the time and people using new palettes all the time. There is nothing that you will see on my channel, not at least this year. Because I am not shopping any new eyeshadow palettes. And it feels like crazy to have gone ten, nine months without buying an eyeshadow palette. But I'm going to do like a good read with me and wrap up my Noba year if I succeed in the end of December or the beginning in January. So I don't want to talk about that more. But yeah, that also for this video. I do really hope that you like it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!